Mr. Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2386 from Bakersfield to Stockton. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. This is this year's episode of Excel Hash. This year, uh, many, many Excel MVPs are working on a video to go live February 3rd, where we have to uh, use four of these. Cut out people, Lambda, Spilled Array, Power Query, Data Types, the Let Function. Wait, stop. <laughs> Several of my friends pointed out that I have the wrong function here. It's the even function. <laughs> I've already recorded Excel Hash. And what's hilarious is that in order to weave my story about this function, I did use the even function. Check it out in the second outtake at the end. So my entry for Excel hash is using the wrong function, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Just yesterday, I did a recording for Rob Colley's Raw Data podcast. All right, so, you know, Rob, you mentioned that the Lambda function, it, there were specs for that going back to when you were on the Excel team, which is... Yeah, 15 years ago. When I mentioned the Lambda function in Excel, and Rob said, oh, you know, it's funny, I was on the Excel team back in 2009, and he remembers seeing a spec for Lambda, right? So that's wild that they were thinking about the Lambda function 11 years before it came to us. Uh, and, you know, there's functions that they, I'm sure they think about that, that never really fully reach their fruition. And today, I want to I want to talk about one of those. Okay, so in California, uh, the the corridor from Bakersfield, California to Stockton, California, uh, there was a plan long ago to name that the I-7 corridor. And uh, up in Seattle, there was also a plan long ago, this was back before Excel 2007, uh, where they were starting to think about geography. Today, we have all kinds of geography data types, you know, here under data, you can either do uh, geography or location, and we can get all kinds of information. But, you know, 15 years ago, they were already thinking about it, and, and you can see remnants of it. So I have a whole bunch of California cities here, and I've used uh, a5.name. Now, these are not Power Query data types. This is not part of Excel hash, just getting uh, basic data about these cities in here. And then check this out. If you want to know if this city is along the I-7 corridor, uh, all you have to do is use this function uh, that never caught on, right? The, the I-7 function, uh, and it will return false or true. True if it's along the I-7 corridor, or false if it's not. Right, and so what I've done here is I've done a do little data validation. So we can choose a city over there from the left-hand side, Glendale, which is not on the I-7 corridor. That's Angela, one of the cutout people. You know, every one of the cutout people, you find those on insert icons and then cutout people. Uh, every single person here has, you know, 20 different poses, some holding signs, some happy, some sad. And so Angela there is telling you whether or not that particular city that you've chosen is along the I-7 corridor. All right, now, I hear what you're saying. You're saying, Bill, why would they have something uh, this specific, right? And it, one of the people on the Excel team grew up in Stockton, right? So that's why they, they chose this. Uh, and clearly, it never caught on. Do you, do you have any history on, uh, there was one guy in the Excel team from Stockton, California, and he was experimenting with geography way before geography was the thing. And he, he came up with that they were going to do all the interstates, and the first one he did was the I-7 function. Do you remember who that was? Oh, I think it was Sam Rad. Yeah. Sam, Sam Rad. Rad was really what? big on California geography. You're not believing me, are you? You just don't believe that this is it. So I'm going to take this data. I'm going to use this I-7 column in, in 3D map. Yeah, so here's that data in uh, 3D map. The orange are anywhere where I-7 is equal to true, and there it is from Bakersfield. Uh, right on up to Stockton. All of those cities are accurately uh, getting true from the I-7 and anything else uh, that's not in the I-7 corridor is getting false for blue. So clearly, clearly it's working. Now, it's kind of disappointing if you're a geography buff like I am. I love maps. I love the interstate system. Why don't we have the other functions? Why didn't they finish this? Like, for example, why isn't there a function for I-5, I-95, I-405? It'd be great just to be able to plug a city in and know what freeway that's along. Well, the great news, because of Power Query data types and because of Lambda, we can build those now today. All right, so over here, I have in column A a whole bunch of more cities, not just cities in California, cities across the United States, and data validation here uh, that lets me pull that city up. So we'll just choose a city, El Paso, Texas. And then here, check this out, equal D2. So D2 is a data type that's coming from Power Query, and I have fields, the I-5 field, the I-10 field, the I-405 field. Now, that's the one around Seattle. There's another 405 that's down in California, but that that's known as the 405, right? So I, the 405, 
or I-95 will tell you for each uh, city that you choose uh, which routes run through that. Come over here to Jacksonville is the crossroads of I-10 and I-95. All right, so that's using a power query data type. Uh, we could also go the other way here where you choose a highway. So I'll choose uh, I-405 in Washington, runs from Bellevue and those cities. Uh, or if I would choose I-405 in California, those cities. So you can choose a highway and see what cities are involved. Now this one uh, isn't directly using the, the Power Query data type, but it's using a spillable array, another one of our ingredients for Excel hash. Uh, so I'm filtering, looking through the data for where the city has this highway, all right? So getting a different number of results depending on which highway you choose. Longer highways, more cities, uh, perhaps. And then the last thing, the newest thing, the amazing is the Lambda function, right? So, uh, you know, Excel certainly has the I7 function, uh, but what if you really want an I5 function? You don't want to have it stored in a data type. You just want it to be pure and beautiful and work like that. What I've done here is I've created the I95 function. I95 uh, point to one of these cells that has a city data type and it will return a one if that city is on I-95 uh, or a zero if it's not. Now, how's this working? This is stored in formulas, name manager, I-95, using the Lambda function. We're passing it a city and then it's doing an X match against the 95 cities. If that's an error, it's giving me a zero and then it's changing any of the results uh, to a one if they are positive, right? So you store that logic here in the name manager and just easy to call it from wherever. Uh, certainly easy to go through and you know maybe do that for all of the interstates. You know, since we're talking about the uh, US interstate system, a really fun fact is if you have a list of interstates and you need to figure out which ones go east-west, a great formula in Excel to do that, you take the mod, the interstate number comma two, and see if it's equal to zero. Anything in the true is an east-west interstate. Well, there you go. That's my uh, entry for Excel hash. Make sure to go watch the playlist and watch all of these other awesome MVPs struggle with how to use these various functions in some cohesive story. <laughs> if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. You won't find this story in my book, Mr. Excel 2020, but you'll find a lot of other good things there. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast, Mr. Excel. So, you know, uh, you know, another function that, that seems to have, well, like was hatched back in that time period. You might have been on the Excel team. Uh, do you remember which of the uh, Excel team was from Stockton, California, and did that experiment with the I7 function? I7? I, I don't even think... Are there numbers? Yeah, I guess there are numbers in function names. Well, it, like it's, a, uh, a cos 2, right? It, it's, right? Spe it's spelled out I-S-E-V-E-N because otherwise it would have been cell I-7. I, I see why they did that. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah you wouldn't want to do it that way. So uh, I, I-7 spelled out? Oh, uh, do you mean the is-even function? The what? Is is even, you know? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take number two, how I really did use even for this. So obviously there's no I7 function, it's the is even function. And as I was trying to figure out how to kind of manipulate the data to make this look right, I realized that I needed all of these cities up here that are along the I7 corridor uh, to have even numbers. So when I use this equal latitude times a thousand, I wrap that whole thing in the even function to make all of these cities have a even number like that. And then I threw in a smattering of cities down here that weren't along the I-7 corridor and used the even function minus one to make those all be odd. And then sorted it alphabetically so that it would be mixed in uh, together. And then of course the I-7 function uh, would return true on anything that was along the I-7 corridor like that. Uh, the joke's on me, though. You know, obviously, I was, I was trying to mispronounce is even uh, just to be a smart aleck, but I really did get the function wrong. Uh, it was even, not is even. Thanks to all my friends who pointed that out, and thanks to you for watching this. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.